Hello everyone. Got a new piece of software that I've discovered. Uh, it's called Cord. Uh, Cord is a remote desktop client and it will help you access computers on your network or over the internet. Let's say for example you have a need to help someone uh, remotely and gain access uh, to their desktop to resolve an issue or instruct them in some way that uh, might be helpful for them. Or let's say you've got a home network and rather than uh, go to the, another location in your home and uh, sit down in front of a computer and, and do things, Cord will allow you to access that from the Mac that you're sitting at. So we'll start by going to their website, Cord, and their description says Cord is a Mac OS X remote desktop client for Microsoft Windows computers using the RDB protocol. It's easy to use, fast, free for anyone to use or modify. So there's an overview of it, and I've already installed it. They've got a download link right here that downloads a, a zip file to your computer, and you simply drag that application to your applications folder, and then it's ready to use. Um, what you'll need uh, to know is the IP address of the computer on your network that you plan on connecting to, and uh, that's simple enough. Uh, if you have a router, you can look at uh, who's connected to the router and get the IP address that way, or you can go to the machine, obviously, uh, and run a command and do IP config from a Windows machine and IP config command will give you the IP address of the machine that you plan on connecting to. But once you have all that information within Cord you can store it so that you won't have to retrieve that information every time you plan on using it. So let me minimize Firefox. We'll go into my applications and I've got Cord installed right here so I'll launch that. I've got two different uh, computers set up already. One's my friend uh, across town and then another is a Windows 2000 server that I have here locally. So we'll connect to the server and simply you have it selected. If you want to see the properties you'll cho choose right click and choose show an inspector and here is where you would give it its label which I've given it home ser uh, server at home and then its IP address and the username that you need to log in to that machine with and then its password and you can choose to save that password or not. Um, you can choose a screen size to display um, that you, and that will be the resolution in which you see it from here from your uh, client and, and the color depth. The color depth is important. You don't want to transmit high color information across a network. It's just, it just produces a slow connection and you'll see some lag in that. But at any point, all that's okay. And it, it, Once we've got that information added under our active sessions, simply double click it. You'll see that it starts up. It's asking for a password. I'll enter that and now that machine is connected uh, and the machine's right over here beside me. It's a web server but uh, in any case you can see that it's connected. I've got full access to conduct whatever kind of functions I need to. So it's a real convenient way to uh, allow you to connect to a machine uh, either whether across the internet or local on your own local network. So hope that helps you guys. Remember go to Cord dot sourceforge.net and it's a free download and I highly recommend it. Alright, well if this video was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up please. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.